a lot of money on this, this is, is crap. crap something that i don't understand this, this is, is crap. crap something that, that i don't understand, understand. this is now what you hear a lot of money on people saying is crap <laughs> this is crap this is crap hey, i know good, good, good thing, thing. That is my take on it. you know uh, people don't understand women when they say that uh, sometimes it's giving their children the phone helps them you know sometimes a child can be so you know, can disturb you so much that you don't know what to do, but you need some distraction just to rest or to just maybe talk to a visitor or talk to someone or do your own work. So sometimes when you give them a phone, it, 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 it makes them distracted so you can do other things and pay attention to other things in peace. At the, wait, wait, no. Uh -uh. <laughs> because children, children are crazy, you know. Uh, especially when they are that age of uh, now they are learning how to walk, to talk and all that. And then sometimes you just, you just need a little distraction to, to, to be able to do your work. So sometimes you, a child can be crying, being un, be unruly and all that. You've tried all avenues to stop the, ch the child from crying. They can't stop crying. So if you give them a phone, maybe put a game there, then uh, the child is distracted. You, you know, that crying can make someone go crazy. Yeah? It can make someone go crazy. So giving a child a phone, uh, uh, it, it, sometimes it works. You know, it works for, for women because you, you can go crazy. Children can drive you crazy. So, they have toys. They... I, I, I know there, there are those people who don't understand why you would want to give your child your phone, your gadget, because it's something that you are, you're using. Um, but sometimes if it's the nearest thing that, or it's the best thing that can keep your child quiet just for a little while, for you to be, to feel sane and to, to feel better. Why not? I mean, yeah, you know, I think it, it can work, yeah. But they have toys. I didn't say all the time. I'm just saying once in a while, you know. What is the, okay, why, why, why are we buying toys for the children if that, no, no, it's it's not. Hold up, ah, Go, wait, wait, what? Of course, it's important. Of of course, of course, it's just that sometimes don't they have toys? Some, some. T okay, you know, I don't even know how to 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 reply to this because this is crazy. This these are crazy moves. First of all, a phone is not a toy. A phone is, how are you giving your, your two-year-old or your one-year-old or your nine-month-old a phone? It's not a toy. This thing was bought, bought with money. You know, you know, let me tell you something. Maybe you didn't buy this phone. That's why you're giving it away. Because if you buy your phone, if you've worked hard and you've bought a phone, I don't think you'd want to give it to a child to play around with it. This things cost money. How are you giving a child so that they can... That's why we have toys. We have toys, cars, all those things that make small sounds here and there, you know? And sometimes when a child is crying, it's just because they're testing you as a parent. Do you know children know how to play around with parents, eh? They know how to just get attention. So sometimes, funny how our mother's bringing us up. We didn't have phones. How are you giving your child your phone? Then, when someone calls you for a job or something important, you're telling them, oh, I gave it to my child. You know, my child spoiled my phone. Do you know how you sound when you do such things? Do you know how you sound? You know, you, you sound like someone who's not, who, who does not use their brain. Because how are you giving your child a phone? Eh? Your husband has bought you a phone, you're giving it to the child so that you can have peace of mind. This child has toys a room full of toys, you've decided, ah, let me give this child a phone to keep quiet. Mama, Baba, use my phone. To do what? To do, don't give your child a phone. If you give your child a phone, they'll get used to that. They'll know, if I want to use this phone, I will cry, then mom will give it to me. I think that's another, again, another way of just being lazy. Why can't you just make your child quiet? Find other ways, find other avenues. You can't use your phone. There's no way you can use your phone. You're spoiling your child. What is a child doing with a phone at the age of nine, one year, two years, even five years? What, what are you doing with a phone? You know, you can't give your child a phone. Give your child 
tools that they are, they are supposed to use to play around with. Your child should know this is mom's phone. I can't play around with. This is one thing I can't play around with. My children have never touched my phone. Even if it's ringing, they'll say, mom, your phone is ringing. Why are you touching? It's mine for my communication, for my job. And Parents, stop this nonsense of giving children. Oh, So what? Who has died from crying? Who has died from crying? You know, let's stop this nonsense of raising children with things that they're not supposed to be raised with. Let's just stop it and respect. When you're, you have a phone, respect. Let the child also learn to respect. Teach your child to respect your things. That is just how it is. You, you're there giving your child a phone, bragging to other parents the way your child knows how to open your phone. Oh, he knows how to open my phone. He knows how... Are you crazy? What, what are you doing? You know, you're the parents who go now to the supermarket, then the child is falling on the floor screaming because he wants a lollipop, and then now you have to buy the lollipop. Your child is running your life. In short, this child has taken over your life. They are running your life. You are a slave to this child. You should be a parent. You know, one eye the child is quiet. One eye the child is leaving that phone. One eyeball, it is enough to make the child straighten up. What do you mean you're giving your child a phone? Then it falls, you're there saying, oh, sorry, Baba, did it fall? Le really? 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 You know, women, let's, let's just stop behaving. We are misbehaving, you know? Then, then someone is calling, you, I'm calling you for serious business. Someone is calling you for serious business. Then the child is picking up the phone. How is the child picking up your phone? Where are you for your child to pick up your phone? These children should know that these phones are not to be played around with. Then you go visiting. That's why now you, people don't even invite you for parties or anything like that. You're going to people's parties. Your child is holding things, for, for wanting to break things. Now the, the, the host is all over running up behind. And then you're there laughing and smiling and saying, Oh, he's like that. Are you kidding me? Your, parent, your parenting skills are poor. That's all I can say. That is poor parenting skills. Your child should never make you do things. You are the one who is supposed to take care of your child. He should not control you. You're supposed to control your child. Control your child. Yeah.